Welcome back to the Red Carpet Ria. Today we're diving into a heated controversy involving 50 Cent and a New York judge. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content. Let's get into it. Earlier this week, shocking police body cam footage surfaced showing State Supreme Court Justice Aaron Gall making racially charged threats and comments toward a group of black teens after a high school graduation party. This incident has sparked outrage with many, including 50 Cent, calling for her removal. Let's break down exactly what happened. First, let's set the scene. The incident took place in 2022 at a graduation party in upstate New York. The party was crashed by uninvited guests leading to arguments and fights. Police were called to handle the situation. Next, as the scuffle was being handled, Judge Aaron Gall, who was present at the party, made shocking statements. She threatened to shoot the black teens and made offensive remarks about their intelligence and future prospects. I'll oh. shoot them on the no, phone. New video just released capturing state Supreme Court Justice Aaron Gall threatening to shoot a group of black teenagers. They'll be shot on the property. Well, I'm just letting you know that because the best case when they scenario, trespass, you can shoot them on the property. They should just come here and just no, no. I'm just saying. saying every day. I'll shoot them on the no, property. No. The judge was at a high school graduation party at her friend's house when authorities say there was an argument between invited and uninvited guests. A group of black teenagers who received a text invite to the party with the address then arrived and a fight broke out shortly after. I'm to split open pretty bar. Yeah, I've been telling him since I saw, got eyes on him that he needs to go get checked out. He was definitely hit with something. During the scuffle, the teens lost the keys to their car and couldn't leave the neighborhood, appearing to upset Gall, who wanted the children to leave, but refused to turn over their car keys if she found them. If the key turns up, we're absolutely going to throw it in the toilet. You're welcome. Somebody's sister's coming to pick them up and get them out of here. And I'm going to get his information. And I'm going to find the keys. the back of the cop car, let him wait the there. Five law enforcement agencies arrived on the scene during the more than hour-long ordeal, during which the New York State Commission on Judicial Conduct said the judge repeatedly invoked her judicial office. And that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Judge Gall. Right. I'm a right. judge. Right. I'm telling you, yeah, get yeah, off yeah. the Hey, dude, go in at the car. I'm a Supreme Court judge. I know, I'm I know you judge. Sitting here. Threaten gun violence. I'll shoot them on the no, no. If I have to clear it out, I will. And both criticized and pledged favor treatment for the police. The good part is, I'm always on your side. You know I'd take anyone down for you guys. You know that. You know that. You know I am on your side. Video also captures the judge making comments about the black teen's intelligence levels. They don't look like they're that smart, honestly. They're not going to business school. That's fine. And praising her son for beating up partygoers, among other comments. Hey, hey, he put a smackdown once okay. he got hit. Hey, I didn't say it was one sided. The commission now calling for the judge to be removed from the bench. The commission administrator telling CBS 6 it is utterly unacceptable for a judge to threaten gun violence, exhibit racial prejudice, promise favorable treatment for the police, or disparage a law intended to keep guns away from dangerous people. Any one of these things would undermine public public confidence in the administration of justice. That all this and more was committed by one judge disqualifies her from further service on the bench. Now, Gall's attorney did provide a statement in a brief released by the commission saying the judge was in shock at the time, saying the incident triggered a trauma response to her own assault in the 90s. The judge saying in part, I was acting as a mom who just witnessed something awful. I wasn't acting appropriately or thinking the right way. She also says she attended counseling following this incident. It's now up to the Court of Appeals to decide whether or not to remove Gall. She's asking for a punishment lesser than removal. She's suspended while her fate is decided and has 30 days to appeal. Her 14-year term is set to expire next year. Finally, the backlash was swift. 50 Cent took to Instagram expressing his outrage and calling for Judge Gall's removal. The New York State Commission on Judicial Conduct has also recommended her removal, citing her behavior as undermining public confidence in the judiciary. To understand the gravity of the situation, let's take some direct quotes from the footage. Judge Gall was heard saying, they'll be shot on the property because when they trespass, you can shoot them on the property. I'll shoot them on the property. She also insulted the teens by saying, they don't look like they're that smart. They're not going to go to business school, that's for sure. These statements have raised serious concerns about racial bias and the integrity of someone in such a powerful position. 
As of now, Judge Gall has been suspended with pay while New York's Court of Appeals decides her fate. She plans to appeal the decision, but the public outcry continues to grow. 50 Cent's voice adds to the call for accountability and change within the judicial system. Thank you for watching this episode of The Red Carpet Rea. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more updates and exclusive content. What are your thoughts on this situation? Drop a comment below and let's discuss. Until next time, stay tuned.